Hi. Hey. You came all the way from India to get better? Yes. Why? I was uh, reaching a point where antibiotics did not help um, and I could not find uh, a solution within uh, traditional Western medicine to address the problem. So I had to look at other treatment options. A lot of French people come here. Yeah. Why? Well, for the same reason I do come here because uh, they didn't get uh, the results they expected with antibiotics and they decided to, to come here. This is the only way to get better? Yes. I was told it is very good. <laughs> <laughs> the phage therapy has very specific, very special place in struggle of antibiotic resistance. Here, in the middle of Tbilisi, lies the Eliava Institute. The institute has been treating people with bacteriophagy since 1923. It might sound strange, but here in Georgia, a phage is as common as a pill. They are used for treating such ailments as throat, bladder and ear infections. What did you get? Uh, Intestifage lactobacterium. Is it for yourself? Yeah, the is, is it as normal for you as taking a pill? In the early 20th century, bacteriophages and antibiotics were discovered around the same time. Antibiotics seemed to offer a more effective treatment, as one medicine could eradicate many different types of bacteria, whereas a bacteriophage works differently. It is a virus that targets one specific type of bacteria. The broad usage of antibiotics ensured their dominance in Western medicine. But not in the Soviet Union. Behind the Iron Curtain, it was difficult to get proper antibiotics. They continued to use phages and have developed them since the end of communism. This is why the waiting room of the Eliava Institute is full of ill Georgians. I am trying to get to the root of the problem and see if the phages can help. The patient has a consultation with a doctor and a sample is taken using an ear or cheek swab. Then, the bacteria which is causing the infection must be isolated. Three days after submitting the sample, the patient returns to the doctor. The bacteria is now cross-referenced against the six standard phages that are permanently in stock. If the bacteria responds to one of them, the phages can be immediately picked up at the pharmacy. It's a big lab. Yeah. But what if the bacteria cannot be killed by the six standard phages? Then a phage has to be custom made. And at the Eliava lab, they have more than 100 years of experience with that. If commercial phage doesn't work, then we uh, go to our laboratory collection, phage, uh, collection and we check our phages against this strain. So we are making the bacteria alone. Okay, now we have to wait so it gets dry. And we have to spot our phages. And after we have to incubate these plates overnight and see the results the next day. The next day we see the result like this. And the clear this spots? Plate. Yes, is so where we it have works. the bacteria alone, and this clear the zones means that this phage works on, uh, on these bacteria, so this less and this better, and so we choose the phages and try to adopt this phage uh, to uh, get the more active phage exactly for this bacterial strain. When the phages encounter the bacteria, they attach themselves to it. Once firmly attached, the phages inject their DNA into the bacteria, which replicates within it. The phages then secrete an enzyme that eventually bursts open the bacteria, releasing the phages virus to infect the remaining bacteria. This is repeated until the infection is eradicated. When the correct phage is identified, the pharmacists develop it into a drug. 
the treatment will be administered under the supervision of a doctor. The phage can be drunk, applied to the skin or inhaled, so that the problem can be tackled directly. Phages are offering treatment to people who have been failed by antibiotics. You came all the way from India to get better? Yes. Why? Um, anti I tried antibiotic treatments. Um, I took uh, about two months of antibiotics and uh, my infection did not respond to the antibiotics. Um, they did not work anymore? The, they did not work. Um, I got tested and found uh, that the infection was resistant to the antibiotics. I have uh, pain in um, the pelvic region. Pranav Jori is from New Delhi, India. He has chronic inflammation of his prostate. He has continuous fever and sometimes violent pains. As antibiotics have not worked, phages are his last resort. Do you have fever? Uh, no fever anymore. It, uh, after the phages, after I had finished my phages, the uh, fever went away. I am hoping that phage therapy eliminates uh, all the infection that's causing my problem. And um, I, symptomatically, I'm 50% better from uh, when I started phage therapy. Please. Hello. Hello. We visit the director of the Eliava Institute. She tells us that Pranav is one of a long list of foreign patients. We had the patients from New Zealand, for example, the lady from Uruguay even, so from France, from Germany, from China also, so the geography is really very wide. The range of infections that can be addressed is extensive. The medical departments are identified on the hospital's doors, and for all the medical specialisations, specific phages are developed. In this way, a phage was found to combat the aggressive hospital bacteria Pseudomonas. Jean-Francois Besson is suffering from a Pseudomonas infection of the lungs. You must take it twice a day. Yes. In the morning and in the evening. Yes. Heros. Mm -hmm. Drink it. As the bacteria is progressing in, the, in my body, to get it uh, to, to be stopped and so I can... So you can stop the infection uh, it's not spreading to your yeah. entire body. Yeah. You're taking like an experimental medicine, weren't you afraid? It's not experimental in Georgia. It's uh, used as normal medicine and uh, people have been treated for 100 years with this medicine. Um, so that gave me confidence. I have not found any sort of uh, negative impact or side effects. Uh, so that's something which has been a positive experience that it only uh, targets the infection and nothing else. They recognize and kill only specific host bacteria. For example, E. coli has its own phage, Staphylococcus aureus, for example, its own phage, and they don't work on each other. So they're very specific. They do not affect normal microflora, which so is no a very, very, no? very, very important. There is no, almost no side effect. But how is the situation outside of Georgia? We visit the Queen Astrid Hospital in Brussels, Belgium. They are working together with the Eliava Institute to develop phages for Europe. We live from their experience uh, with the use of phages in, in the clinic. Uh, and they uh, live also a bit from us to how the phages to produce for Western standards. But yeah, that is a missing link, maybe? Yeah, probably, well, yeah. yeah. I think it well. Then can phages be more broadly adapted. In Brussels, phages are now produced according to Western standards and hygiene regulations. The Belgian health minister has recently approved the use of phages, meaning that Belgium will be the first country in Europe to make phages available in pharmacies. The first steps are being set, and it looks good. So then, can a doctor a phage prescribe that you then will have to develop? Ja, dat klopt. Uh, uh, ja, ontwikkelen en, en ook produceren volgens bepaalde standaarden en ook met, uh, met de nodige kwaliteitscontroles. But of course the question remains. Will phages suffer the same resistance problems as antibiotics? No, says the director of the Eliava Institute. Bacteria and phages are natural enemies and so evolve together. It's a natural struggle. You know, so they are living together. It's an ecological uh, co-living bacteria and virus. So you it's know. a natural bacteria it's killer. It's a natural, yeah, and we are working only on natural. The Eliava Institute is the proud owner of an impressive collection of phages. These have been developed over the last hundred years, and new ones are continuously being added. 
We have a lot up to 2000 maybe so because each lab's got their own phage collections. For the specialties? Yeah. Yes, and so we have a lot really. Did it ever happen you couldn't find a phage? Uh, in, our in my practice, no. So, wow. Yeah. I hope that many countries will, uh, will get the license, will get approval for phage therapy. It's absolutely necessary, especially today, because of the antibiotic resistance. It's a real, real problem for everybody, not only for developing countries, but the developed countries much, it much can help more. People. Absolutely. Does it taste good? <laughs> Not really. I don't think so. <laughs> so this treatment could change your life. It could. It could. <laughs> it could. Really. You, you hope. Your high hope. At the moment. Hope. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. hope of a normal life. Yeah.